everyone on Facebook. Uh, we continuing on episode five of the Faith That Moves Mountains. And today we are looking at First Samuel 17 from 32 all the way to 51, because we started last week from First Samuel 17, 1 to 31. So we're continuing from there. And I'm privileged to have Papa Vincent and Papa Achido being our special guest tonight. Mm -hmm. They're going to help us to understand the word of God. Mm -hmm. They're going to advise us. They're going to teach us the word of God in mm -hmm. terms of the subject matter, which is the faith that moves mountains. So before I start, I want to uh, just recap what we did last week. Last week, we realized that faith is totally dependent on God. And also, we, we have to move from our inabilities to the abilities of God. And by so doing, we need to trust God in all our ways for our faith to be manifested. Amen. Without wasting much time, I will start by reading 1 Samuel 17, 32 to 35. And I will start with my um, Papa Achido to help us understand First Samuel 17, um, 32 to 37. Uh, one minute, I'll project it on the screen so we all have a look at it. And First Samuel 17. Yes, there we go. I'm reading First Samuel 17 from 32 to 37. And it says, then, then David said to Saul, let no man's heart fail because of Goliath. Let no man's heart fail because of Goliath. Your servant, which is David talking here, will go and fight with this Philistine. Wow. What, what, what a courageous spirit. He will go and fight this Philistine. Oh. Verse 33. And Saul so said to David, you are not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him. So you are a youth. And he is a man of war from his youth. 34. But David said to Saul, your servant used to keep his father's sheep. And when a lion or a bear came and took a lamb out of the flock, I went out after it and struck it and delivered the lamb from its mouth. And when it arose against me, I caught it by its beard and strike and killed it. Verse 36, your servant has killed both lion and bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them, seeing he, is, seeing he has defied the armies of the living God. Verse 37, moreover, David said, the Lord who delivered me from the from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he would deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said to David, go and the Lord be with you. Hallelujah. When Amen. I was reading this scripture um, yesterday night, I was reading at dawn, especially verse 32, when David said that, you leave Goliath with me. I know that he's been tormenting Israel for 40 days and 40 nights. But here is, here is the case where I want to stand in the gap. So I will go and fight him. I will go and fight this Philistine who has disturbed Israel for quite a long time. And when I was, when I was meditating, the Lord dropped in my spirit that faith is actually the voice of the spirit. And, and fear is the voice of the flesh. So as much as we are moved in the spirit, we are able to exercise our faith. So then faith becomes a, an issue of spiritual, you know, motivation and stimulation. And, and, and fear, on the other hand, becomes a motivation from the flesh. And I was also thinking about it and I realized that 
fear in this sense is, is, is kind of a false evidence which is appearing to be real. It is false, but is appearing to be real. And the Lord dropped in my spirit that faith sometimes is having, is having that audacity, that courage to confront your greatest fear. So this is David who has, who has the courage and the audacity confronting what has been the fear of Israel for 40 days and 40 nights. So I want to start with Papa Chido on the verse 32, the remove favor. So Papa, David said, leave Goliath with me. I am going to face him. This is David, Papa Chido, who is a very inexperienced man when it comes to battle. We saw um, Saul making reference to the fact that David is inexperienced. He has not went for any battle before. Even the ones that he was referring to back in the wilderness was just a practice course. But this is a real battle. Goliath, who is, you know, renowned in terms of battle. But David said, I'll fight him. So we want to understand based on the subject that we are discussing, the faith that moves mountains. Papa, can you help us? What is the inspiration behind David's you know, courage and confidence to, to take the battle upon himself? Was it because of the reward that Saul has put on, on, on it? What was it at all, Papa? Please help us here. All right. Thank you very much. Um, before I go on, can you, can you project on the screen? Revelations chapter 12. Revelations 12, 11. Revelations chapter 12, verse 11. Verse 11, yeah. Revelation 12, verse 11. I read, uh -huh. and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and did not love their lives to death. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to simply say that talking about experience, Saul's statement actually shows us or makes us know that they were number one afraid of they were afraid because of Goliath's experience how experienced mm. he is mm. because trying to discourage David from going to the battlefront the first statement he is using is that this guy has been fighting since his youthful days, he knows a lot. He has fought a lot of battles. He has won many battles. So they were trying to come up with his experience. Mm -hmm. Things he has done before. Right. But thanks be to God that David also had his experience. Okay. They were trying to talk about the testimony of Goliath. But David said, Nana, don't go there. Because if you are talking about testimony, I have a lot of testimonies. This guy has been fighting human beings, but I have been fighting animals. Beasts. I have been fighting beasts. You have been fighting. So if it's, it's what he has done before, and I forget about it. As for that one, I've gone beyond that. Mm -hmm. Right. And looking at the verse we read, Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, talks about the fact that they overcame him by the blood of the lamb, not just by the blood of the lamb, but also by the word of their testimony. So the question comes, as a Christian, what is your testimony? Mm. What is your testimony? It is your testimony that will keep you, that will keep you going. It is your testimony that will keep you winning. The Lord did this yesterday. You see, most of the times when God wants to encourage the Israelites to believe and to trust him again, he said, remember what I did for you. How I, I brought your ancestors out of Egypt and how I led them to cross the Red Sea. And God will be giving them references. Things he has done before. Right? You say that even if you don't know anything, rely on what I have done before. Mm -hmm. So, for them to scare David with um, the testimonies of 
Goliath, it was not enough for him to get scared. Mm -hmm. Because when you're talking about testimony, I also have a testimony. I have killed the eight, I have killed lions. Who are you? As a matter of fact, you, if you put down your, your swords and your weapons, <laughs> you are just a human being, only that you are tall. Mm. <laughs> but these animals, their weapons are with them. So if you read down once, you say that the Lord who delivered me from the paws of lions and beer who delivered me from this guy. Mm -hmm. So what I want to say is that as Christians as we are, we need to be carrying our testimonies, our personal testimonies. Mm -hmm. It is dangerous for a Christian not to have a personal testimony. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if you don't have a personal testimony, your faith will break down one day, one day. Mm -hmm. But people with testimonies will go back, will reflect back and say, no, I cannot lose this battle. The mm -hmm. Lord who helped me in the years back, this thing happened to me. I did not have anybody, but I saw the hand of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw the hand of the Lord. And because of the hand of the Lord who helped me, this time I can trust him again so confident to say that Lord in your hands Father in your hands I commit my spirit but before then he had said that Eli Eli why have thou forsaken me we thought because he said that the Lord has forsaken him he is also going to do his own thing but he said oh I have a testimony he has done it before. I think I can put my trust in him. I can fix it in his hands. Okay, so even I have seen this, hey, Father, in your hands, I, 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 I put my, 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 my. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is that we should have testimonies as in the testimony. You can be motivated out of his testimony, but you are not the bearer of that testimony. Okay. You, you are you be just enjoying the testimony. You just take inspiration from that testimony. But you should personally have your own testimony. testimony. So David was drawing inspiration from his own testimony. And yet, want to call my testimony. I'm talking about my personal testimony. Yes. It, forget about it. Say, I want a testimony. Okay, yeah. Maybe it overcomes him. Yes. It overcomes him. Mm, okay, Papa Chido. I think we've lost Papa Chido. So, yeah, we wait. We wait. What's he coming? Um, um, those of you just um, that just joined us, we are still continuing on the faith that move mountains episode episode five. We are looking into First Samuel 17, 32 all the way to fifty one, and we right. have to finish. So you let me end there. Okay, Papa Chido, thank you very much for that. So we need to have our pers personal testimony, and then make references to it. By so doing we will be able to, you know, keep our faith moving. I'm going to Papa Vincent. And um, if Papa Vincent, if you can also help us in 1 Samuel 32 to 37. And um, as Papa Chido has talked about the fact that David had his own testimony that was, you know, essential in um, that faith that built up in him to go and face Goliath. Because for a youth like David to say, I am going to faith Goliath, it has to take a certain kind of radical faith, uncommon faith to do that. So Papa Vincent, if you can help us, we want to establish, um, and all of us on the platform, before we move on to 38 and then to 51, I want us to establish five key points that was essential in David's victory over Goliath. So Papa Chida me and number one say na okuta na dance di, and na dance di na ne okuta no no, and on the share ne di, emani di golia fesun kunim. And if Papa Vise and Pacho, if you can also help us, thirty two to thirty seven. Hallelujah. Amen. 
the five essential things you'll be looking for will lead us back to one of the episodes when we're talking about the five principles um, you must exhibit in terms of faith delivery. Mm. In your question to um, Papa Chido, um, I understand the question, but you were trying to let it seem like um, David in the wilderness is a practice zone, and therefore you can't equate it to the rare thing. Mm -hmm. It's not a practice. If you have studied the life and the hunting um, 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 expedition of a lion, you even fear David more than Goliath. Okay. If you have studied what a beer is, jata any sisiri, se yeni mwamu subaya, anka David hube yungu, achen Goliath. But we bear witness to what Goliath has done. But we do not know what David has also done. So David want them to know <laughs> what you didn't know. And in life, yes. if you face challenges and they yes. don't know what you carry, prove to them what you carry. If somebody does not know your Jesus, mm. let the person know your mm. Jesus. So it was a platform for David to tell them, we have a God you must trust and not faint. We have a God in Psalm 23. He is my shepherd. I shall not want. So it is time to preach. That area was a shall preach. not want. David. David wanted to preach. What he has been preaching to the sheep on the, on the wilderness. Now let me preach to human beings. For you to know that the God we serve is the same yesterday. Is the same today. Is the same tomorrow. He gave testimonies to Moses. He still gives testimony to us in our day. You got to have your personal experience as our Papa Atido has described. So the second is trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your way, acknowledge him and he will surely direct your path. So we share explanation in verse number 34, 35, 36. Ma, 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 my God, give us this bowl to describe you, Jesus. 34. But David says to Saul, uh -huh. servant, humble statement, used to keep his father's sheep. And when a lion or a bear came and took a lamb out of the flock, I went out after it. Your servant. And struck it. Remember, it's your servant who is doing this. And deliver the lamp. Tio Mikoche si jata. Hey, brother Dave. Jata ni nipa. Wani ni mrikako. A jata be chi abuwa di ni jani. Ne nipa se. Mi ni koche si jata. Is it not amazing? Is it not frightening? Say this in the wilderness. E nye jata ne eche si nipa o. E nipa mom ne eche si jata. A kwa ji ma adie wo jata o. David is telling them, I possess a divine power and anointing. You guy is realizing what I carry. You don't know me. You don't know you don't know that what is inside of me is greater than what is outside. You don't know the God of Israel. You don't know. In the wilderness. The God we rely on for the greatest. Be chesido. Nama kwa jema di netio. Be kwa jema di na se abuano am penemia. Abuano yana jini se. I will attack you. Masuike de kadosha. My God, I went out after it and struck it and delivered the lamb from its mouth. And when it arose against me, I stand, caught it by its beard, and struck and kill it. Mm. Oh, you know, the 12 verse 36. David and Commander are not killing it. You know, in his uh -huh. heart and the mind, uh -huh. he did never rely on his strength. Mm. Never ever did David rely on his strength. And to approve what I almost say, 
there was a man, a power, a glory, a anointed, a spirit God who was with me. So verse 36. Your servant slew both the lion and the bear. And this, and this. So in the eyes of David, he was not seeing the Goliath people were seeing. But he was seeing, oh, a dog. Not even equated to the lion. Not mm. even equated to the bear. Mm. Last time when we were praying, I said in my delivery that what you see will determine your results. Mm. Your perception, carry weight. So what? The, let your perception be carried by faith so that you get a better result. As mm -hmm. I crown it, David is say, this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them. Seeing he had defied the armies of the uh. living God. Moreover, David said, The Lord who delivered me from the lion and from the power of the bear, that is, the paws of the lion and the paws of the bear, he will deliver me from the hands of this lion. Whom do you trust? Whom do you trust? Whom do you trust? Oh. Trust and obey, oh. but there's no other way to be happy in Jesus oh. but to trust and obey. Amen. I give you trust and obey. Amen. Amen. Ah, amen. amen. Uh, Wonderful. Um, oh, amen. my days. Wonderful, Papa. Hallelujah. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much, Papa Chido, Papa Vincent. Um, I've been saying this every day that our discussions goes to another level every single day. If you compare episode four to episode three, you will see that there is much difference. If you compare our episode one to episode two, it's much different. And if you compare our previous episode, which is four to today, Today is taking light already. So please follow us so that you really understand the spiritual insight that our purpose are releasing on us. I will go to Papa Achido in 38 and 39 because we want to finish. But I want to encourage um, participation from the platform. So Paka Imano Ham is here. Pastor Imano Kofiadu, um, Prophet Imano Anaman. Um, before I go to Papa Achido, I um, David, Timmy, Fast, so did the Goliath soon to name Papa Chida May and we say Nadas Dina Nekutano, no, Papa Vincent Amaya, we say Ordina Puman and Egidia in Ashina Mimo. Also, I didn't try a saying, may call Emmanuel on Ham one minute in Pacho for the sake of time, Paka Emmanuel Ham. One minute. Okay. Um, I believe that David also. Trusted and dependent totally on God. As um, I think Reverend mentioned. Because um, when Saul in the in the book and the Lord David had a raw faith because he said he had tested God, but he could he wasn't able to test the armor which Saul gave him. He said, in the first night, I cannot walk with this, for I have not tested them. So David took them off. So I understand that David had tested God in the wilderness, and that is where champions are raised. Champions are raised in the bush. And so when you come out on the scene, you know that you have something that you believe in and something that can take you far. Amen. Amen. Parker, thank you so Amen. much. Thank you. One minute, I'll go to... Um, Pastor Imano Kofia, if you can unmute yourself. One minute, sir. Monso, what suggestions, no contribution? Uh, yes. Um, good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening. Um, I, I, I would want to um, talk from um, verse 38. Verse then Saul so dressed David in his own tunic. He put a coat of arm on him and the a bronze helmet on his head. David fastened on the sword over the tomb and tried walking around because he was not used to them. 
Mm -hmm. um, what I can say is, um, when it comes to Christianity, we have to use what we are used to. What I'm saying is, um, we are used to the name Jesus Christ. We are used to the name Jesus. Mm -hmm. And even when we go to the idols, they are used to the names that they have. Mm -hmm. As um, Goliath um, did in the presence of David. Mm -hmm. We said, David, um, Abraham, Goliath, a born um, uh, a bosom dean, and I saw a friend of bosom. Um, David is so frail, one is in Yami, one is in him. So, when, when it comes to when, when it comes to Christians, we should use the name that we have, the name that has power, mm. the name that we know has, um, the name that do miracles. Mm. That is the name Jesus that um, David also used against David. So we should use what we are conversant with, what mm -hmm. we can, what what our strength can take us to. It is the most me I can say. Then for the year who you bet me a swing and swing who the year swing and swing. Yes, you bet me at the aye ama in coming the at the abad the year swing ya ya ma. And Centennial Sipen, Yen Yusu Sadi Crono, and we should bet me a boy, me at me a D. A town for Nation Kunim, Senior David. He used to the name Jesus, no? And it be Goliath Sunkunim. So that is what I think I can say about the 38. If we move forward, um, okay. I'll continue with that. Thank you. Okay. Oh, Sophie, my name is Shapa Uti, a dear Nemo Christo Sumu, your best such an A. Yes, D. And Kofobi before Fobia, my Kenya, my Sumo, and they had the name of Biki Kenya, my Sumo, and Ni Bible, and Yenona Yesu Treye, and you know, we are learning the faith that moves mountains, but it is, you know, bringing other things that we need to know. And you know, we should be conversant with what we know already, which is the name Jesus. We should stick with um, doing communion, speaking in tongues, like the ordinances that we know in the Bible. Those are the things that we should stick with. And Emma will be and new sort of 21st century doctrines and faith preachers need to shift to attention. I'm so free, my name is Let's let's be careful of that as well. I may call so free, my name 38 and 39. No, Papa Chido, ne Papa Vincent, there are so many questions. I may call my name so free, my dear, and in bed. We were going there 38 and 39. And Papa Chido, ne. Papa Vincent is getting ready because of we Emmanuel Anna Manuaba. So if you can unmute yourself for me. Hello, Sofima. Okay. Um, I'll go to Papa Achido. Uh, Papa Achido 38 and 39. I'm reading. I think um, Sophie Manuel has already read about still read it. So Saul clothed David with his armor, and he put a bronze helmet on his head. He also clothed him with a coat of mail. David fastened his sword to his armor and tried to walk, for he had not tested them. And David said to Saul, I cannot walk with these for I have not tested them. So David took them off. Amen. Amen. He took them off. And Papa Chido, my me, me first question, 38 and 39, no? what somebody wants to find out is that, I think right from episode one, no? we, we are missing one thing that I, I'm about to ask you. But we realize here in 38 and 39, it said, all the things that cause the manifestation of our faith, you know, they are within our domain. And you might see a coin, a see a coin say, yeah, yeah, exercise if they are surrounding us, they are surrounding us already. The voice of the society, the voice coming from our family, disappointment, discouragement, they are all surrounding us. Ain't you know? Wow. And also, what I realized in 38 and 39 is uh, most of us are holding on to things that are unprofitable in life things that are not bringing us any benefit oh. because of the fear of losing them and he probably because david no he was not afraid he just said i'm taking them off 
But what we, we realize in our times, we say, Nipa be pre hold on to your maybe a or so say a may my bear may a coy may my buyer coy the fear of losing that thing. Ain't in a papa chido, please help us. There is somebody here, this is very common. Uh, the person is holding on, on to the something. Bed. He's holding on to something now. The thing doesn't worth it. Any panic, any time. It is not bringing any wealth to the Christian life. But just of the fear, say, me mane kwa. Again, I made it. Me mane kwa. Any pan me moa be free about. Papa Chido, there's somebody in that situation. But David said, I don't care. I am taking it off, regardless. And Papa Chido, please give us an advice there before I ask you my question. Okay, Mama, me me ni zwa chere bepo. Ehi na me mu efi beba. Do me fi bepo no ba ti nye bepo no zina me mu efi beba. Me mu efi beba ra de wo ne beba. Okay. Di ante ne se ye ni se ye ni pei se uji di e ni na na no na so pe se ante chere chere bebi mo about when. Peter saw the storm. He began to sink. Mm -hmm. He said, what, what we are now you will cling to the one who knows that you And any time we, we put our trust so much in the things we see, we lose sight of, of God. Na ema eji diye so so e biriki fi e vrade e hon. Ni e wu kure mu no. Ni e wu mu no. Ya e ya o se e nwa ane be bwa wo no. No kwa se mse se ye trust ye vrade ya you realize that the God we are trusting is far more beyond what you are holding on to. As a matter of fact, I was going to talk about Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 where it says that put on the whole armor of God. The whole armor of God. He didn't say put on the whole armor of Saul. <laughs> Saul <laughs> might have his armor, mm -hmm. but God has an armor. Mm -hmm. Amen. Edi, we as we know one way, I said, and now can you invent your own for say one way, dear, when you be who know a better trauma would have finished a rabbit to me. I know the God we are serving is greater and far stronger than what our eyes can see. Yes. Edu baby ya, obe chie ni pe bi ni pa be timi a shobo ni pa be timi a a a a ye bi bi a chere se obe timi a bo a o. But I want to tell you so or no ankasa ne mo akura we urade ho. So ni pa na ankasa ne mo a we urade ho. So if it comes to say ye jai ni a ye kure mu amana ko na ya hold on to things of God a we shouldn't place any value of, on it. We should not, if, it, but if we see the God we are serving as the God whom the whole world, Bible see we are sending and they do doing in a including the crown. Back to uh, some of the sent once again. Now, no more scenario be what say what so papa will see can watch your car. Now, what say car now, the dear mono, fache. Wano no de kana ma wo wano se pache na wo su wo se kana wo de che no che se e how na wo wo de ma wo na kache so from asan wo de ma hallelujah amen and so we shouldn't we shouldn't find it a problem to lose what what we hold on to and maybe one more send me a walk ano it will not really benefit us but I am we are seeing the I am fair fair the it ye jai mu no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, 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 Papa Duncan, and my testimony be about message be a co preachy or baby. Now, oh, preaching no, no, be a gold watch here. I have forgotten about the worth of it, but I it was it was worth thousands of dollars. But also, oh, preaching no, the attention of the people, I think light was reflecting on the watch, mm -hmm. it's attention of people were on the wristwatch. Mm -hmm. Enti back to his hotel na obo mpa in a man sa revelation say he on fa watch and check on fa check 
He didn't understand it until God explained to him, say, because of the wrist watching, people are losing the message he's preaching. Mm-hmm. We should leave it and let it go. Mm-hmm. We are living for God. Mm-hmm. And he is there for us. Mm-hmm. We should let it be. We should let it go. Yes. And let the glory of God shine. Amen. 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 Um, so, amen. Papa, Nyami shall pa for 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 blessing us, pa. Nyami shall. If I'm losing it to the glory of God, it's worth it. That's yes. simply what our Papa is saying. If I have to let that thing go, if I have to let that relationship go, that association go, that business partnership go to the glory of God, it worth it. So, emane nyo oye pi say, oh, what is gonna happen? Oh yes, Anna, you'll be insecure. Just trust in the Lord that has given you life. And as long as he continues to give you life, he still has a plan for you. And you know, don't, don't cling on to things that doesn't worth it just because they are material things and physical things. But you have to cling on to things that are eternal. That is why we live by faith, not by sight. Amen. Amen. But Amen. on the platform. And to, um, if you can, the platform is such a way that if you want to make contribution, you can raise up your hands and it will notify me here. You can yeah. use um, the thing there. So I am Sofu Iman no Manokofia do your hands were raised. And let me come to you before I go to Papa Vincent. Uh, thank you so much, um, Papa Dave. And God bless you, um, Papa Chido. Um, I just wanted to um, say something about the dress that Saul gave to David. Okay. That he was not able to use it um, against um, Goliath. Mm. There are times Christians and eh, God has so many ways of answering our prayers. Mm. Saul thought that was a physical, um, 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 how do you call it? A physical act Battle. at that moment. It was when he said, Sabbath to wait the acquire, yes, I could, I could, I But so did he know, sir, Sawaku, we ne aka a a whom 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 and in um, your bad Christopher for more, Tempia, your who says, Debbie are saying your first one, your day, uh, at the Kutia or Tanfono. San is a tembia, your first way, yeah, But God has a way what the amo will be a will be at me at the bomb pie at me the kutia. Um, the things of the devil. I don't know, step the make and repatriate, but yes, yes, I am holding on to the yen. Yeah, you go ahead. A day a mayen. I had the first way, you could hear um, one some, and I said, you could hear a town for. Mm-hmm. Senior um, David Ediano or Odia Cotadian Seno, he was not able to use um, uh, um, uh, um, to use the Amos. Ah, I saw the man on. Yeah, yeah, you should be in your copon, dear Maya, dear dear, 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 We should use that. That is what I wanted to contribute on. Say, dear, yeah, yeah, one, yeah, yeah, you should, and yet, dear, a month for um, you who said. Obu on my this will be the Nesaton or so, and San Wahun said, Um, you will see is healed. But Obu on my and Sabian cano, but the person will be healed. Amen. Sana, Sana, um, David Gianni, one one first came be a any day any Goliath, the coconut, who said, Omo Cocoa is a chain, chain, no, the Nesot, Eddie, no, Omo, that is not how David did it. Mm-hmm. But David, David's, um, um, David, Ediano, yes, or no more to mechanism or Tona Codiano and a decoon Goliath. It means you suit ties. Thank you, Pastor Chido. Or you suit tie and one more decoon Goliath. And yes, the power and the way I'm Yacopon, Edia may associate me to your comfort. You can use our way, no, yes, you see there. 
Um, Papa Vincent's line is frozen. I'll try and get him. So I'll stay with Papa Chido and Imano Pakaham. If you have any suggestions, you can let me know and I'll unmute you. And um, Papa Chido, um, there is a question here because we know in the Bible that there, there are three things that open the heavens, which is worship, sacrifice, and prayer. These are the three things that we know in the Bible that causes the heavens to open. But in all of the faith series that we started from episode one, all the way in the life of um, Abraham, in the life of Enoch, Yeshua Nonso, Yeshua Sarah, Yeshua, so many um, um, patriarchs in the word of God that are more demonstrative faith. But it, it came to our attention that in all of the discussions and episodes, you know, we never saw any of them you know, praying um, prior to that or worshiping or something like that. Apart from Abraham, he was willing to sacrifice. No? And you know, somebody brought a question here, which is very essential, Pam. And to what the person wants to say is say, does it mean that the issue of faith has nothing to do with prayer and worship? Hello. Um, mm -hmm. In the first place, yeah, hello, do you hear me? But yeah, we can hear you. Hello. Hello. Hello, Papa Mpachi Etuanka. Hello. Mpachi uh, Etuanka. Mpachi. Okay. 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 Very good. Yes. Um. You are. You are asking this. You are. You are asking that. Does it mean say faith has nothing to do with prayer and worship? Yeah. Worship and prayer. I would say that um, they are they are elements which helps to flow easily in the realms of faith. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello, Papa Pacheco Casa. Okay. Okay. Good. So I would say that worship and prayer, as you are saying, they are elements. Elements be a boy na flow easily in the realms of faith. Right. There was this woman who visited Jesus. He needed the help from Jesus, and Jesus was trying to say that the food for the children are not given to dogs and all that. I was say, hey, I do understand you. I do understand you. But when the food stepped down the table, it doesn't belong to human beings. It belongs to dogs. Mm -hmm. For faith to work, you need to get yourself positioned. Mm -hmm. You need to position yourself. In fact, there are legalities in the realms of the spiritual. Mm -hmm. There are legalities. There are, yes, there are legal matters. And then many people know more. If you get the right key and you stand on the right key, God will not hesitate. Mm -hmm. um, 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 Archbishop Benson in the Hosea Tribal could be. If your faith says yes, God will not say no. Okay. You see, we are partners of God. We are partners of God in His garden. When I'm a person, I hear you maybe was as you so, but a year was as you soon will be a quiet man so what the year you man. Do you know on one castle when Sunny Prisro and Mass as you soon will be the only time when you may be Sunny Priso and say when we are lazy when we are not ready to work. Mm -hmm. So God is in agreement with us whenever we are in tune with him. Okay. And your faith, for your faith to work, doesn't necessarily mean that, it doesn't necessarily need worship and uh, prayer before it works. Sometimes you will not pray, but just by speaking a word of faith, okay. it should work. Mm -hmm. It should work. And, and I will also come up with this way that sometimes speaking the word of faith is a form of prayer. Okay. 
because sometimes you you would be driving and then you you would encounter you would encounter something a, a flash a flashy revelation be about something before you do you do you need to 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 i mean worship do you need to do some sometimes you need to just shout at the devil you need to just i mean cancel things and break things and before you even zoom into worship and prayer mm -hmm. So I would say that it doesn't necessarily need prayer and worship for your faith to work. Mm -hmm. You only need to be on the word. Okay. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing of the word. So if you have the word in you and you speak out the word, the word will work out for you. Okay. Amen. 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 Papa Chido. Um, I will go to um, Pastor v, Papa V. Saint, but I have somebody raising up their hands here, Imanoha. So one minute, Imano, before I go to Papa V. Saint. Okay. Uh, I was Papa, Papa uh, actually don't just mentioned it, but by what we say, and I wanted to emphasize on the point that David, in this case, in this scenario, was praying as well while he was exercising his faith, he was praying because there was an exchange of words between him and Goliath. The Bible okay. said that let him that boast, boast of this one thing, that he knoweth the Lord, I the Lord. And so David was boasting of his God. Goliath was also boasting of his gods. And so what you do in the step or in the action of faith is what you say or or what is the prayer you say may be the prayer what you sing may be the, the the prayer as well so those things are the elements that will activate or will position you amen thank you so much papa um, thank you so much Paka. um papa vincent we lost you but um just before we lost you um i asked we asked the question that does faith necessarily need prayer and worship for it to be active? And our Papa Chido has made us to understand that faith cometh by hearing and hearing of the word of God only. And sometimes you don't necessarily have to pray and worship because there are legalities in the spirit. If, if the Bible is saying that faith is coming by hearing of the word and putting the word of God in action, if you, you know, apply that, and if you apply that, that will work as based on the application. So we don't necessarily need prayer and worship for our faith to work. And that is what we've established. So Papa Vincent, I'm taking you to verse 40 to 44. Then Papa Chido will take 45 to 47. Then we do 48 to 51. Then we bring it to an end. Even though we have two minutes to close, but please bear with us and give us extra 10 minutes to finish with David. And Tina, I'm going to Papa Vincent with verse 40 to 44. Then Papa Chido will take um, 45 to 47. And we go to 48 to 51. So I'm reading 40 to 44. Then he took his staff in his hands and he chose for himself five smooth stones from the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag in a porch, which he had, and his, and his sling was in his hand. And he drew near the Philistine. So the Philistine came and began drawing near to David. The battle has started here. And the man who bore the shield went before him. 42. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him. In fact, he disrespected David, for he was only a youth, rowdy and good looking. 43. So the Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? We will see whether you were a dog or not. And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. 44. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give your flesh to the birds of the air and the beast of the field. Amen. Um, Papa Vincent, Amen. 
the, the, there are two questions here. Make a question in our book. The first one was in verse 40. You know, we saw David making a step. He, he, he's gotten his favor. He has had the expectation. The reward is there. But after the year, what two and a morning say, me nyanko pona makan and one sem say, and obey deliver me free Goliath and sem. Me wusa or hina reward to me say, I'll be enriched with great riches. No. Now, this is the time for me to put it in action. So let me make the step into the first question. Nia said, um, you from Abraham and all the likes. But um, in, in, in the matter of David, it's different because uh, he is a step now, or making it has to be practical. And Papa, the first one is you're going to speak to us about how to, you know, um, put our faith in action, how to make it practical in our life. Obi Wan Ma is about to start a business, but then Nabemu Bu. There are so many um, conditions that Obi Wan Ma um, or person will put a fake just to make that thing click. But then on Tini, and you talk to us about that. And then also, what we have here is that sometimes it is not fear, but discouragement. A crown comes in, and we are not even able to, you know, do what God wants us to do, say what God wants us to say. Abemu Bu. Abemubu is very, very common in, in our Ghanaian society, even in the world. Obi Peso, yeah, dear, but Abemubu, Obi Peso, Utu, and Amubi, Abemubu, we want to start something, but Abema, Ede, Ebu. But this is David making the step. He, he has defeated the spirit of discouragement and things like that. In Papa Vincent, please take us through that, and we want to understand um, how to, you know, overcome all this. And make our faith practical in our life. Amen. Amen. Um, Dave, thank God for the question. We have already established in the episodes earlier that faith must be back with works. Faith. We must, faith is seen in the works. We cannot just say that you have faith, prove it. So we see your faith when it is established through the works. So faith with works makes faith alive. Faith without works make faith death or dead. Now David has demonstrated through words that he has faith, but who will believe it? The testimony you are sharing is limited to you alone in the world and who believe it? Now it is time for what he has demonstrated uh -huh. through ways to be done through practicals. Okay. I really know what I believe. And this is where we Christian must exhibit. Uh -huh. Faith must go with works. You were saying that in the life of Abraham and the staffs, it's a little bit different from David. No, it is not different. Abraham practical said he far more from the cover for the we have established that Abraham be kumaitic. He rose the knife to slaughter the the the, the child, hmm. and God, who is timely, came in. So Abraham had not. I'm not going to fake it. No, I'm real. I'm I'll kill him because Abraham in the GDS said we couldn't pour a ribbon in the flow of flow. Obiyan and his son are practical. In the end, they are practical, and then they say. Yeah, I go to we shall not die. Ampa, you shall not die. What is the practical? Mm -hmm. If you shall not die and you refuse to eat properly, if you shall not die and you refuse to take rest, if you shall not die and you refuse to exercise, you shall not die in the night. You are eating chibom, you are eating uh, what do you call uh, uh, fatty foods. You will die. So, so, so the whole thing is pratica, pratica. Uji at D N D and your pratica is an account. Otun phone ya unko pwa ma ye nyansa ya denanti. The fa pratica is an account. I have faith. Who saw the wound siya di? Who said me were first class? Yen siya di was oh me di me ya watch night ya fast. Fast and then watch night to open the mind. Fast year at the same. So the practical aspect is very crucial. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have faith. Me juma ne bayi onkoso. Me wa ni mu diya yadi yadi juma no wejane chiri. Who do onfaso? 
a jumano jet train when dim fast one and every jet train a better now moka and to me jinny say we are to be sure of things and 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 we are to be sure of things that is so sad to find him a real human being. Cause so so bad, I would take it to upgrade yourself to meet the challenges of the current situation. What are the avenues you explore to expand your job? Faith must be back with works. On the radi kase mi se we are seeing the nyansa change. Such statement to know they can't say near we are saying a practical seno, or may have a practical seno. And no, I was here, she could borrow yet a practical or quite a four point thirty and change. She are not quite the woman, yes, and yet and thirty eight and thirty and yet did you say, but dear near me, dear no, me fatty a bam, me. Then so to be removed to me, fence your moon compared to an intimidate ahead of time. I want to say, you will to be my memoir, but my dear Niano, you pay the great agriculturalist, you pay the great agricultural minister, a young Tatia. Story, Diane, or the Adianisia, and this your toy and that your common name, Wabuaho, Chris Tony Wabuaho. We have been ten beggars, Christian begging, always beggars, waiting for people to flourish, and we depend on those who are flourishing. Hmm. Meanwhile, your preacher said, "I would have done Jesus be here. He didn't say I'm being here and so be here before." Who told you Jesus was lazy? Who told you Jesus messes up with time? Who of faith I am? But when Juma was in you, me did it. Now so called Juma late. Obey you already. And just only did you know but the works back in the GDN, you know, I'm a GDN. You know, hmm. If you wake up, go work on time, do work properly. The idea is that you need a good year with a good year and found cause one and bro. If we are going to give example, we will give and give and give and give. But all that we are summarizing is your faith must be back. Or the new man or Nimono, a can of GDN. Mm. Already, your papa Emmanuel Edu Kofia Boyen say, "Ye ye ye, who are those who are ye dini dino? Onya me da da noa, ye ne ne nam. Onoa wo ni jamo no. Onoa ni ye ne ne nam. Onoa wo di kuni mo da no. Onoa ni ye ne ne nam. Enti kofa bi bi fufu kwa. E mo bi nchira wa kwanchire biara. Ya kwanchire ni njira ne chira kongo. A kwanchire ni njira ni ye ne uradi Yesu Kristo. A kwanchire ni njira ne hongo kongo. A kwanchire ni njira." And the Sauber Gia would have used to Christ twenty, and I know Solomon, you two years for us, you are sending in every year, and he said, Yeah, would have used to Christ to Yanko Poti, not fun and Miran Semino, and Nante, Fango Tonesso, no, no, never wow. Say ye to me, did David in Como ye saw, and then another to ye saw, who knew Kuku da. Amen. 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 Papa, Yamisha, Papa, 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 Papa. Things that Papa Vincent um, I can be brave at the atrey, the futuro womb, in crunchy womb, nyamia sim womb, and wusra womb, in a yemfa, na yemfa into amamo. Papa nyami oisha pa. Papa chido, uh, time me dear, but I come forty five to forty seven, forty eight to fifty one. Na yewe, pama chote me kind intent them. Then David said to the Philistine, "You come to me with a sword." With a spear and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God uh -huh. of the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you and take your head from you. And this day I will give the carcasses of the camp of the Philistines uh -huh. to the bed of the air and with beasts of the earth, that all the earth may uh -huh. know that there is a God in Israel. Then all this assembly mm -hmm. shall know that the Lord does not save with sword By and sword. spear, but the battle mm -hmm. is the Lord, and He will give you into mm -hmm. your hands. Papa Chido, Papa Cho, you were talking about positive confessions, and I think say this question is this question is really really a question, Pam. But let's 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 um, be let's be um, let's examine things here. David, he can't say when you know, on Kungolia. 
But he is talking as if he has killed Goliath uh -huh. already. And this words that he was saying is be is before the battle. Even it was before Christ said, "Autone catapult." No, he's not done it. And sometimes what I realize, they say, when people are being confident in the Lord, uh, we tag them as being arrogant. This is not arrogance. This is a, a, a young oh. boy, a youth, 17 year old boy, David, who is just demonstrating his faith, his radical faith in the Lord. So, so but we understand it. It's not arrogant. We are guilty of that. But um, the positive confessions now he's made here. Onku ni pano ni panda so jina ni nim o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o Forty-five to forty-seven, and I'll go to Papa Vincent. Then we count it. All right, thank you very much. Um, so Papa Vincent is one person I have worked with. Na na no more seven percent you see, casa. Sometimes you might just see him to be as a who general. Hmm. As we as we general, but no one can any blessem. You are you are what you say. You are what you say. Maybe a genus is say, and send me a yak and a chum, a can only genus be a genus is say. Whoever you are, where you are now, where you are standing now, something you said has contributed to where you are now. Papa Chido Pacho can only be a pacho. What I want to say is this. They say, Unipe be a genabria woman, see, see, I know. And send me a waka pen. Mm. Has contributed to where you are now. Mm, okay. Mm. No matter what, if God is to reveal your past to you and the things you have said before, you will know. Saint Simbia Waka Peng has contributed to your position now. Mm. Mm, mm. Okay. David, David, and okay, Uncle Goliath, Unyantiki action, be a but what mm. describe be baby or describe said in the carcass abci actually no mm. bible say na moses almost sufre every day na me say why are you crying to me tell them to rise up and go e kwan dem wani mo so na mo nko adia that me ta ka bibi say adia ba ko ehun o christo sum pa na nkom she and come here, you papa. Sometimes a ready to me day and come she be a two whom one. Wa walk as a man, Casacra, and I was held with us. I saw me came home. Yes, as my make a what we have a prophet on the line. Prophet Bia or Shem Coma and come here and say, You miss your back. Come she be our Jones as we are making you home. Hmm. But It is confessing positively. So walk and say number one. You should get inspiration from the from the spirit of God. Yes. That's a source of inspiration. Eh, in yami hum humu diya. Eni walk. Walk na kukudro eni edi Jesus. Number two, a radiasem. You see, Yamia, a radiasem in Chankontumpo. Ain't he said, Obino, Jiddy Nimpo, Nessel could twelve radiasem be a beer, who was an eye to Mamma. Sometimes listen to our politicians or Cassandra drew baby Nassam Nayarina, was he impo impo even Bible class say. Why is he trying to quote? It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a word of God and it's the standard. 
It cuts across everywhere in the realms of the spirit, in the physical, everywhere. When the word of God is lifted, every knee bows. It is when you are home. We should make positive confessions. Mm. We should stand on the word of God to make positive confessions. Mm. Because we are whom we speak. And some are here, and some are here, and not in the year. And not in the year. It is a little bit because I say, I'm going to go to the house. 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 But you can change your state. Can even if the ten, yes, even if the ten is there. Ah, now Bible can say, but can say, let the weak say I am strong. What does it mean? He knows that weakness will come, but he says that when weakness comes, don't say I'm weak. Say I am strong. Hmm. He knows that there will come a time you will face poverty. Was this a poverty in bad? Man can say I am poor. Say I am rich. It is the language, it is the language of the realm, it's the language of heavens. Mm. In heavens, we don't speak poverty there. In heavens, we don't speak weakness there. Mm. So he says that according to their language, they say that when you are when you say mm-hmm. as but different friends and meaning is different. Mm. As Antonio Cocas, as Antonio Cushini, I just saw a mobra. But Fantimo, yes, but Fantimo Cocas, a Cushinia, I just a wood detro. Is it not the same word? Yes. Good. In the year, yeah, 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 Casemo on the air, you know, your Casa, a year will be a year will be a chalice, a chalice, and the pan will nisica into war, Sana water, as you are, but also Casa dear. Also, when you get into that situation, don't say I am poor. Say I am rich. Uh, <laughs> it's wow. a language. It's a language. Mm. And when you when you speak it, heavens understands it, and they, they, they take it to, to work with it. So one can say he is rich. Charlie, let's send riches, mm. and let me manifest riches, and we are on. Mm. It, with with David's positive because the positive confessions, you know, because he has established it. Why establish it? The words mm. of the righteous shall be established. Why establish it? Mm. Goliath, mm. Mm. Goliath, 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 on the chassis, okay. Let me what the what the what the mabos what mabos want to make to me and I want one and become was here any or the other work. It's made down a button. I'm it's made down a button. I'm a ready. Hmm. Ah, semi school in Namibia or no, yes, I can. And then Pia no, they didn't come in. Hmm. Also, so and then we go. Hmm. Positive confessions are not arrogance. Hmm. It's by the inspiration of the Spirit of God and by the Word of God. Amen. Um, amen. Wow, wonderful, Papa. God bless you so much, Papa Chido. Wonderful. Amen. Um, thank you, Jesus. What a word. What a word. Also, Timase, even if the physical world doesn't understand, the heavens understand. What a word. Um, thank you very much, everyone joining on Zoom, on Facebook. Um, the time has really tied me down. It's too... It's 20 minutes to 11 p.m., which is 12, um, 12 a.m. here in the UK. You all know that I wish we continue because our discussion is to another level. But please, please pardon me. I was supposed to let Papa Vincent, Papa, Papa Vincent to give us one minute advice. Then um, Papa Chido will pray for us. And next week, Tuesday, we go into the life of Peter, then we will have Jesus, then we finish the wow. faith that moves mountains. Wow. So we have just two episodes more, Peter and Jesus. There's a reason wow. why I, we are using Jesus as the last, and that the reason why we are using Jesus on episode seven. Seven is a spiritual number of perfection, so we use Jesus wow. number seven. And you know, Papa V said one minute to your four, 48 to 51, I mean to mean kind. Ninja say, we didn't kunim nevi 
and I use right for using a me at David conquered with faith with works. Hmm. If we emulate sin and the things we've discussed, there's hmm. no way you'll be defeated. You also hmm. conquer hmm. with faith plus hmm. works. Amen. 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 One minute, Sofu Imano Kofia Dumpacho. One minute, also born the top of Mamma Pacho P. Time no, I got ten minutes, not twelve AM or UK. It is Sofu Yama, one minute. Mr. Sudi Mechanism, um, Yang Ji and Yang Kupua, Yasumna, why in St. Chenia, my name, Yang Jin Indi, Yasu, the baby, I be. Amen. Paka Imano Ham, one minute, Pacho. Um, Monsieur, I was say a deep GDA Nancy. Nayad, your midi. Yamina, your son, Ashen, and Fanny. Amen. But your Miss Media, me what can I say? The host, the Miss May can I say? Um, Matisse said, Me may keep positive confessions. I'm number one, I'm not lying. Number two, I'm not being arrogant. I'm just showcasing my belief in God and to from today going please don't see me to be arrogant don't see me that way I'm just exercising my faith in God and Kasimi Jamin him to say me papa 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 yeah, I was in the Lord. Amen. So for many, Okay. Now there was a time when free one, one 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 of our colleagues was asking me, ah, but what? Where is your friend? That that suit man. That that suit man. The only the only coat back class and the only suit back class. And I'm saying yes. What was it? He was it? Was it? He wouldn't dress anyhow to come to classroom or be dressing as as somebody going to the office classroom in office. And he's as if he was joking. He's now a manager. He's now a manager. Yes. Wow. Yes. My God. It is. I would say. It is also what we're doing And tonight we can see his outfit. Ah. And we're going to see his outfit. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you. 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 Thank yeah. I like I, I like it. it. I like it so much. It's it's very good. It's very good. Mama 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 Mumpire. Mama Mumpire. Mama Mumpire. Oto funya kopo ya na wasi. Udi unkuni ma yenda. Bible se Mary di watin se mo din se mi na si na kumum. Enya se ye kasa mo ona wuti in Facebook any other medium so. Attic, I can no more who see him, Yamias, and Nemo, Yansu, Yapese, Yayak, and Yay Juma, and Bermuda Brabo. May this night be a turning point, O God, for us in Jesus' name. A point be our son, a level be an AGD, a druno, or soon Yanko Pong, and semi in tea, and semi in tea, Pajaya Conkain. Amen. In semi in tea, in semi in tea, in semi in tea, or soon Yanko Pong to Yangidim. Amen. Na mayamfa enijie, enijie wo wo rado wase mu enante. Ne wia si ni peni ne wo ampasa Yesu ya mi awati asi yada wase. En mo nyamon kamo tini siweti yangu Jesus Christ iti mo. Amen. Amen. I am rich. I am highly favored. I have defeated Goliath. I am blessed. I am favored. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.